Today we're going to be going over five reasons why the New Orleans Saints will go on to winning the Super Bowl in the 2020 through 21 college football season. And of course, the Saints have been very close over the years to making it to the Super Bowl. I mean, if you look back over the past three years or so, I mean, this team has been very close to making it. They just have not been able to beat um, many teams in the playoffs, and they've had a lot of rough losses in the process. But I definitely think the Saints this season, this could easily be their year, and we're going to be going over five reasons how that would happen. And of course, each of these five reasons will be in no particular order. And with that being said, let's look at your number one reason, and that's going to be Drew Brees, their quarterback. Of course, he's very experienced and consistent. Obviously, we've seen that out of him a ton in the past and he's also rarely injured but he still has a ton of upside considering um he's still like 40 years old so he's definitely an older quarterback and quite honestly for drew Brees, all he wants is just one more good season and i'm sure if he's able to win another super bowl he will be retiring right after that um but yeah honestly like he's definitely a quarterback that i think still has the potential and still has the talent to be able to lead a team to a super bowl I mean, once again, looking at the past three years, I mean, he's led this team very close to making it to one, especially back in 2018 when they were that close, just they had the Rams in the way of making it to the Super Bowl. And obviously that should have happened too. I mean, with all the controversy there, but nonetheless, yeah, once again, he's very uh, rarely injured, which is a huge positive for him. And he's hardly ever thrown interceptions. I mean, like if you look at his interception rate from pretty much all the seasons he's played in the NFL, it's just extremely impressive. And I mean, if you look at his 2019 stats, he had nearly 3,000 yards with 27 touchdowns and only four interceptions. So he had a 27 to four touchdown to interception ratio last season, which is nearly an eight to one, which is very, very impressive by Drew Brees. And I mean, he also had a great completion rate. Don't forget about that. 74% is what he had. And that, I believe, is one of the best completion rates in the NFL from last season. So, extremely accurate quarterback. Of course, he's not much of a rushing quarterback, which is probably the one downside of him. But then again, when you've got as accurate of a quarterback as him and as consistent of a quarterback as Drew Brees, uh, that's going to be a huge positive for you in the end. Number two reason is going to be Michael Thomas, easily one of the best receivers in the entire league. And I do expect that to continue into 2020. I mean, he's still very young, still has a great career ahead of him. And he's very consistent, rarely injured as well, kind of similar to Drew Brees in that fashion. He also works very well with them. I mean, if you look at how well he does with Drew Brees, it's very, very impressive. I mean, last season, I believe, was his best season of his career, putting up 1,700 yards. That is insane. I mean, that's an insane amount of yards as a... Um, as a player as Michael Thomas is and also nine touchdowns as well is what he had and yeah once again still a lot of potential in Michael Thomas and I definitely think in the years to come we'll likely be seeing him being the top receiver in probably the entire league I mean last season I probably would say Michael Thomas all around was the best wide receiver in the NFL number three is going to be the experience for the team in general I mean the team in general has been a league wide contender for several past seasons and pretty much they've had this team back over the past three years they just have to get over that hump in the playoffs of losing I mean if you look at how well they do in the regular season uh yeah they they perform very well in the regular season I mean they're usually blowing out opponents left and right and especially I mean that was the case in 2018 I'd still say uh this team was best in 2018 out of the past three seasons but still um, the Saints had, I mean, they had a great team last season, and I expect that to continue in 2020. They just have to get over that hump of beating teams in the playoffs. But, I mean, then again, looking at the experience on this team, they returned most all key players from the past couple of seasons, and the defense should be just as big of a bright spot in 2020 as the offense. I mean, uh, the defense last season in general has been the best it has been in a while. Um, but I definitely think they'll continue to improve, and this offense in general, um, yeah, with Drew Brees at quarterback and Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, they're easily one of the best offenses in the entire league as well. So this team has got everything going for it. They just, once again, need to get those wins in the playoffs in order to get to the Super Bowl. And of course, having Drew Brees in general is a huge, huge, huge factor for the experience on a team. And of course, when you got as experienced of a guy as Drew Brees, I mean, he's been with the Saints his entire career pretty much, except for the first couple of years of it. So yeah, he's got a lot of experience in New Orleans and he's definitely... A uh, huge bright spot for this team in general. So yeah, the experience would be a huge reason why this team would make it to the Super Bowl again. The number four reason is going to be the secondary depth. And all around, the defense looks great. Uh, but they have got, um, yeah, they got a great defensive secondary. I mean, if you look at the secondary for this team, they're just stacked. They've got Malcolm Jenkins now out of Philadelphia. He's going to be a new player on this team this season. So that's going to be big. Of course, Eli Apple is no longer with this team. But then again, I mean, he, he had a decent season for the Saints. But he definitely had... Um, some some misplays for sure. So I think Malcolm Jenkins is actually going to be an upgrade from Eli Alpo in the end. But 
You also bring in defensive back Janoris Jenkins, or actually you, you had him last season, he's coming back. You also have defensive back Patrick Robinson and another defensive back in P.J. Williams. So all around, the secondary is definitely looking very good for the Saints going into next season. And honestly, though, if you look at the rest of the defense, the linebacking core also looks great. It's not just the secondary on this defense. The linebacking core is going to be huge for the Saints team next season. So, yeah, this defense could easily be the best in the league as well. So that's going to be something that the Saints definitely have going for it in comparison to last season. I mean, they had a good defense last season, but I think in 2020 it's definitely going to be even better than it was in 2019. And last year, number five reason is going to be Alvin Kamara. Can't forget to talk about him. Of course, he's one of the best running backs in the entire NFL, no doubt on that. I mean, if you look at his stats from last year as well, 1,300 yards with six touchdowns. And of course, that's a bit of a downgrade in comparison to how uh, he was in, let's say, 2018 or 2017. But he still managed to put up 1,300 yards, which, I mean, there's no doubt that's very impressive. So, And considering he's got the upside to be able to hit 1,700 yards like he did a couple of years back, um, yeah, definitely watch out for that. But he continues to improve as his career goes on. He's still extremely young. I mean, this is his fourth season in the league, and he's been able to put up crazy numbers. I mean, he's put up 4,500 total yards over three NFL seasons. So, yeah, Alvin Kamara is definitely a player to watch out for, I mean, for sure as a running back. And definitely he's going to be one of the best running backs in the NFL next season as well. Offensive line looks to improve as well, which is going to be huge for him. I mean, Alvin Kamara all around. I mean, he's got a great offense to work with with Drew Brees. I mean, there's no doubt that Drew Brees is a huge factor as to how good he plays, but also the offensive line. I mean, the offensive line wasn't great last season, so I definitely think if they can get that offensive line to improve this season, that's going to be extremely helpful for both Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara. So yeah, Alvin Kamara, watch out for him next season. Uh, he would be a big reason why the Saints would go on to a Super Bowl appearance and possibly even a Super Bowl win. But anyway, with that being said, that about wraps up our five reasons why the Saints would win the Super Bowl in the 2020-21 season. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Saints. Of course, this is a team that is heavily um, favored to possibly make a Super Bowl run again this season, but they just have not. Once again, it's just the it's just the hump of winning in the playoffs. I mean, this team has had a lot of tough wins down the stretch. I mean, they had back in 2017 that rough loss to the Vikings. We all remember that. And then in 2018, when they lost to the Rams on a controversial play call, they should have made it, made it to the Super Bowl that season. So that even enough was was too tough of a um, a too tough of a thing to deal with. And then 2019 in general, losing to the Vikings in the wild card round, yeah, there was no excuses for that. But in the end, yeah, for the for the uh, for the Saints next season, I definitely think this is a team that should make a big run at it. They just once again got to get those playoff wins. Yeah, once again, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. And if you enjoyed this preview, be sure to slap a like on it. Subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate that. As always, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I will see you all later.